It was actually a three-part assignment which required uh, shooting three different stories. Uh, the first one was to shoot Meet Team USA, which required photographing all 23 players. Uh, the second part was to photograph Captain America, which is Clint Dempsey. That was for the cover. And the third part was to do a group portrait of all the German players that play on Team USA. On the day that we scouted the location, which was in Stanford University, we were kind of put in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we didn't really have access to power. Uh, they said we should. Uh, they showed us just one room, but that room uh, only had one outlet, and we had to kind of spare that room for the uh, Sports Illustrated uh, film crew, which is doing interviews of the players after we photographed them. Uh, so to enable us to photograph um, the team and give us full creative control, we kind of had to use all battery power packs. So we decided to go with Pro Photo B4 packs. So what I did is uh, the original plan was to do four, uh, was to do three different setups and use about 20 lights. Uh, but since our schedule changed a number of times, we ended up condensing everything to just one setup and using only 10 lights. Uh, but in the one setup uh, that we had, we had a four different looks running for each player uh, that we got. Since we only had a minute with each player, I ran three different looks simultaneously. Uh, for doing that, I used a Canon 1DX. With 12 frames per second, I did a three shot burst. So I was able to do three looks really fast, back to back, using the Pocket Wizard um, Speed Cycler feature on the multi-maxes. Each of the Pro Photo B4 packs had a Pocket Wizard Plus 3 each on its own group. For one of the looks that I wanted, uh, I wanted to do a really nice, dark, and dramatic look. Uh, so for that one, I used a soft light reflector with a grid on it. So what the grid does is it focuses the light beam even more, and it kind of just hits the player with a beautiful Rembrandt lighting. And everything else kind of falls off dark, and it gives you a beautiful, dark, dramatic look, uh, which you can see here of Fabian Johnson. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite portraits from the set. Uh, another look that we uh, that I love doing is a warm, cool look. Uh, for this look, I usually use a snoop, uh, but since we were on location and using battery power packs, to try to save a little bit of battery and not use so much power. Instead of using the snoop, I decided to use a um, narrow beam reflector. So what that does is it kind of gives it a look like a grid, uh, similar to a snoop, um, and, but instead of losing light, it focuses the light. And I had that over, uh, overhead on the boom, uh, giving the athletes butterfly lighting. And then I also had them uplit two with two soft boxes. And then both the soft boxes and the narrow beam reflector on top both had a quarter CTO to give them a warm look. And then on the back, I had a magnum reflector with a full CTB uh, filter on top of it. So it gives a warm and cool look to the image right here, which you can kind of see here on Josie Altador, and then also on Alejandro right here. And another look that I did too on top, uh, which I wanted another kind of Rembrandt lighting. I didn't want it as dark and as dramatic as the soft light reflector. I used a soft box. And on this one, you can see the soft light gives a beautiful Rembrandt lighting. And, uh, but it also hits the background and it's not as dramatic as the one with the soft light reflector. And then the fourth look that I kind of did with the players, I went to the side and I did a profile on each player. I had an assistant standing to the side with the black board so it was a black background. And then for this look, I had a soft box kind of off to the side, for her just hitting them slightly. And then I had another narrow beam reflector on the other side, which again, is like a 30 degree grid, but kind of really focused and gives a fine, beautiful light. And I guess a really nice dramatic uh, portrait, which you can kind of see here with Clint Dempsey. Also here with Tim Howard, you got a nice little flare right here just in the front. And one of my favorites from this look in the profiles with uh, Kyle Beckerman, uh, which the uh, narrow beam reflector gave a beautiful, nice uh, kind of focus, sharp rim light. On, it, look, it looks great on his dreadlocks. Uh, we were able to photograph uh, 22 players on the first day. Uh, for Aaron Johansson, we actually had to return the following day and photograph him. Uh, we had to set up a studio in the bathroom and photograph them indoors. My lens of choice for the shoot was a Canon 24 to 105 zoom lens. Uh, since, like I said, we were short on time and only had about one minute with each player, they didn't want to worry about switching lenses. So what that lens enabled me to do was go from a nice white shot, 24, or zoom in all the way and to be able to do a tight headshot at 105 and do it really quick. And then the other look that I kind of had going on here too, uh, which is I had on a separate camera because I didn't even want to switch lenses on the camera that I did have and just kind of be ready to go on a fight whenever you know the players came. Uh, we're supposed to have about 10 to 15 minutes with Clint Dempsey for the cover. We ended up only having about four to five minutes. So for that one, uh, for the cover shot, had a separate look set up, which was just nice, bright, lit, uh, overall kind of evenly with soft boxes. Uh, and that's kind of how my, my 5D Mark II with the 24 to 70 lens ready to go on it. Uh, we got the shot that we needed for the cover, and then we also did a few variations of different shots with him jumping and celebrating with the flag. Uh, something a little bit more different and more fun. 
and I also used that same setup, the sprite lip, for the group portrait that I have to do of all the German players that play for Team USA.